Hey guys, welcome to my channel. As we all know, China is renowned for its enthusiasm for constructing large-scale projects to accommodate its continuously growing population. In recent years, with rapid economic and technological development, China's focus on infrastructure development has been steadily increasing, earning it the nickname Infrastructure Mania internationally. This title is not meant pejoratively. It reflects the astonishment of foreigners at China's infrastructure construction. China's bridge construction is truly unparalleled globally. From record-breaking spans to lightning-fast construction speeds, Chinese bridge engineering achievements leave American engineers awestruck. When Britain engineer Jeremy Clarkson first came to China, he was amazed by the country's infrastructure. China's road network. In 1988, China had no motorways at all. And now, 30 years later, it has 84,000 miles of them. That's more than any other country in the world. And they're only just getting into their stride. Since 2011, they've been building 6,000 miles of motorway every year. 6,000 miles a year! It beggars belief, and it's not like the terrain is easy. Here, though, there ain't no mountain high enough, and there ain't no valley low enough to stop them. This bridge, for example, is 34 miles long. And then there's this one, the Douge Beipan Jian Bridge. You could fit the London Shard underneath it twice over. I'm telling you, in Britain, we're doomed. Furthermore, China's engineering construction speed is truly incredible. For example, the San Yuan Bridge was completed in just 43 hours, which seemed as if China were playing with architectural Lego. Chinese engineers also accomplished the remarkable feat of building a train station in just nine hours, sparking heated discussions and debates internationally. How the Chinese do these things, they were able to build a whole new station in the space of nine hours by flooding it thousands of workers. We should be much more imaginative about getting infrastructure in instead of condemning people to being isolated in remote areas. Nice. If you want to spend your time admiring bridges, don't worry. China has an abundance of tall bridges scattered all over, enough to keep you on bridges for a lifetime. As China's urban development transitions from rapid expansion to a focus on reinforcement, structural engineering plays a crucial role in improving the quality of urban life. These bridges symbolize China's national strength and the Chinese government's commitment to providing its citizens with a high-quality life. China's bridge construction technology has evolved from followers in the 1980s to leaders in the 21st century, gradually taking center stage on the international platform. China is not only the largest recipient of overseas infrastructure project orders but has also held the top spot for over a decade as if creating orders in the field of bridge construction is their destiny. China now boasts over a million modern bridges, including the world's tallest and longest sea-crossing bridges. It is known that China has built approximately 14,000 bridges on railways with a total length exceeding 5,500 miles of which about 4,000 miles are dedicated to high-speed rail. Out of the 100 tallest bridges built in this century, 90 of them are in China. So, the title of Father of World Bridges is well-deserved by China. In this video, we will delve into the extraordinary challenges of building gigantic bridges in China. Constructing such bridges in these rugged terrains is undoubtedly a daunting and exhilarating endeavor, but in China, it seems to have become commonplace. Before we begin showcasing these projects to you, we sincerely request your support for our video by subscribing and enabling notifications so that you don't miss any of our exciting updates. We highly value your thoughts and invite you to share your views on these remarkable engineering feats in the comments below. In China, 
we have witnessed numerous ambitious and innovative bridge projects that are seldom seen in other countries. The sheer scale of China's gigantic bridges leaves Western nations in awe. China has achieved remarkable feats in bridge construction, earning titles such as the world's tallest bridge, the world's longest bridge, and the highest number of major bridge construction projects. So, do you know which bridge holds the title of the world's tallest? Many may already know it. It's the Sidhu River Bridge. This extraordinary achievement was accomplished by Chinese engineers. When American engineers first heard about China's plans to build this bridge, they initially thought it would take thousands of years to complete. They conducted various analyses, believing that the local terrain was unsuitable for such a bridge. However, the construction of this innovative project was completed in just three years, with a staggering cost of 147 million US dollars, and the massive investment ultimately led to its successful completion. Upon hearing this news, American engineers could only maintain silence. In their country, constructing a bridge of such magnitude is exceedingly challenging, not only owing to technical complexities but also due to differing intentions between China and the United States in this matter. China builds bridges for the convenience and happiness of its people, while the primary motive for bridge construction in the United States is profit. Oh God, please no! No! Constructing such a bridge in the United States would undoubtedly be a loss-making venture, so America is not inclined to invest heavily in this area. The Sidhu River Bridge allows most vehicles to access previously unreachable areas. You can drive nearly 2,000 feet above ground as if you were riding in a flying car. The construction of this engineering marvel required meticulous planning and extensive research. The gorge crossed by the Sidhu River Bridge is incredibly deep, necessitating a structure that can withstand the strong winds generated in the valley below. To address this challenge, engineers opted for sturdy steel truss cable stayed spans, ensuring the necessary flexibility and strength to keep the bridge as solid as a rock. The bridge's final height exceeded the initial design by hundreds of feet because it had to be raised to avoid cracks and caves on the mountainsides on either side of the valley. Despite a budget increase of around $40 million, this iterative process ultimately made the bridge exceptionally tall. The Sidhu River Bridge has transformed the commuting habits of the Chinese people, turning previously unreachable areas into easily accessible ones, reducing travel time, and changing the travel habits of people in the mountainous, highland, river, and gorge-laden regions of Guizhou. The bridge is part of the G65 Hangzhou-Ruijin Expressway, spanning approximately 1,825 miles. It has reduced travel time from hours to minutes, promoting economic growth and regional integration. It symbolizes China's financial strength, engineering prowess, and global standing. The Sidhu River Bridge's status and influence in terms of both height and cost are unparalleled in the history of world bridge construction. Guizhou's rocky terrain and valleys make it a hub for high bridges, with over 250 bridges exceeding 100 meters, a concentration that surpasses any other country in the world, making China the capital of high bridges. In summary, while the Sidhu River Bridge is the tallest in the world, it is just one example of China's dedication to infrastructure development, economic growth, and the creation of astonishing architectural marvels. For perspective, the Empire State Building could easily fit beneath it. This bridge is like a gateway between heaven and earth, and its construction is more akin to building a ladder to the stars. Now, let's explore the Defonsu Bridge in Guizhou Province, which connects Renhui and Junyi, bringing convenience to countless travelers. This bridge stands out with its tubular arch design, supporting a six-lane commuter highway. This architectural style harks back to ancient China, where wooden arch bridges were often used to span waterways. Although none matched the scale of the Defonsu Bridge, spanning 410 meters and towering 280 meters high, the Defonsu Bridge showcases the strength of modern engineering technology in China, turning impassable mountainous terrain into accessible roadways. Guizhou's bridges are pushing the limits as if challenging the constraints of gravity. For those who don't believe bridges can float in the sky, it's a visual and spiritual marvel. Get ready to be amazed by one of China's tallest bridges, 
the Pingtang Bridge, a marvel of engineering in Guizhou Province. This cable-stayed viaduct stretches for two kilometers, spanning steep valleys and significantly reducing travel time between Pingtang and Luodian. Its three towers, each towering like skyscrapers, reach heights of over 300 meters, equivalent to a 110-story tall building. Driving on this massive bridge is both thrilling and awe-inspiring. Now, let's head to Guizhou Province to explore the remarkable Yangbaishan Bridge, a high bridge marvel that facilitates efficient travel in the rugged mountainous terrain of the region. Guizhou Province boasts nearly 1,000 bridges with deck heights exceeding 100 meters, an achievement unmatched by any other country. For example, the Yangbaishan Suspension Bridge has significantly reduced travel time between Giang City and Huangping County, cutting it from three and a half hours to just one hour. Often referred to as the Stilt Bridge, the Yangbaishan Bridge's pier lengths reach an astounding 110 meters, nearly twice as long as San Francisco's famous Golden Gate Bridge. As for the bridge deck, it soars over 300 meters above the turbulent waters of the Qingshui River, making the crossing an exhilarating and at times terrifying experience. The Hong Kong Juhai-Macau Bridge is nothing short of a pinnacle achievement in sea crossing bridge construction worldwide. The world's longest sea crossing bridge, spanning 55 kilometers, it's objectively 20 times the length of San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge. This marvel has reduced travel time from Hong Kong to Zhuhai and Macau from 3 hours to just 45 minutes, reshaping transportation and making significant contributions to the economy. However, the journey of constructing this bridge was filled with controversies. During its construction, nearly 20 workers lost their lives due to hazardous conditions. In 2017, a corruption scandal rocked the project, revealing that a Chinese company had manipulated concrete test results instead of conducting proper safety checks. Some international civil engineers also raised concerns about the bridge's resilience to strong waves and typhoons. Although the government disputed these claims, American engineers remained adamant about the bridge's potential dangers. Nevertheless, the completion of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge marks a new milestone in Chinese bridge construction, showcasing the extraordinary prowess of Chinese engineering technology while reminding us of the importance of safety and transparency in large scale projects. The Long Jiang Suspension Bridge, entering the earthquake prone region of Yunnan Province, connects Baoshan and Tingchong through a series of roads, tunnels, and the towering Long Jiang Suspension Bridge. This bridge is perched at a daunting height of 300 meters above ground and is equipped with advanced movable joints designed to withstand powerful earthquakes. Yunnan's history of seismic activity has caused significant destruction in the past, making the safety features of this bridge critically important. Imagine experiencing an earthquake at such a height. It's nerve-wracking for anyone, but the Long Jiang Suspension Bridge is just the beginning. So, what about bridges that have collapsed before? The Long Jiang Suspension Bridge showcases the pinnacle of technology, leveraging engineering expertise to overcome nature's challenges and setting a solid example for future bridge construction. Zhangjiji Glass Bridge is one of the world's most spine-chilling tourist attractions. Experience an adrenaline rush on this bridge, which stretches over 430 meters and hovers 300 meters above the ground. Carefully cleaned glass panels offer a clear view of the scenery below, providing an unforgettable photo opportunity for thrill-seekers. Those with daring spirits will want to visit this terrifying glass-bottom bridge in China, as it promises an exciting adventure. Standing on this bridge, you can overlook breathtaking natural landscapes, but for those with a fear of heights, it may be a significant test. When you step onto this bridge, you'll embark on an unprecedented adventure one that will be etched in your memory. Don't forget to bring your camera because the scenery here is breathtaking then you must be very curious about how such a thrilling bridge was built, right? Please watch the video.